CapCut just released their brand new templates feature, and this changes everything. You can now make professional polished videos in seconds. I made this video in just 30 seconds. I'll show you exactly how to use the templates, but most importantly, how to stand out. Because if thousands and hundreds of thousands of people are already using them, it's important that you stand out from the crowd. If you don't believe me that these templates work, here is a video that nearly reached a million people where we applied the exact same templates formula I'm about to show you. One of the crazy things about CapCut's templates is they're not just vlogging templates. You get a whole bunch of different amazing templates that you can use. Things like kinetic text templates, vlog intros, cinematic intros for YouTube and your short films, logo animations, and you can even create custom memes. But none of this applies if you don't know how to find these templates and you don't know how to use them. Let's dive into that. So when you open up CapCut, make sure you're on the latest version, then you'll see this templates option right here. By selecting templates, you'll find hundreds of different templates that you can use. Another way to access templates is if you create a project, there's a new templates tab right there. And once you click that, you get access to all the same templates that you did on the home page. Back on the home page and on the templates tab, you'll find the different tabs that relate to the specific template. So for instance, if I click meme, it's gonna open up a whole bunch what of templates. What do you think about this? I love it. What about this? I love it more. How about this? I love it. You get the point. You can find culturally relevant memes on the meme tab. Some very helpful things about templates as well is you can change the orientation from landscape to portrait. So if you're making a reel, you'll obviously choose portrait. If you're making a horizontal video, you'll choose landscape. What's really helpful as well is this middle option here, clips limit. By selecting that, you can choose an option from this list. Let's say you went out and shot three to five great clips. You don't want the templates that require you to use 40 different clips. So by selecting three to five, CapCut will only show you the templates that include between three to five clips. And that is identified just, if I can hover over a zone where I don't hit, next to the number of times it's been used, so 556,000, there's an option, a clip option that says four. That four indicates the number of photos or videos that you'll need to include in that template. Let's say you had a great shoot and you shot 20 great clips. Let's go ahead and select 10 to 20. And you can see that option there is now saying 11, 17, 11. And again, that shows you the number of clips that you're gonna be able to use in that template. And lastly, there's a duration limit. So let's say you wanna make a 30 second video, you'd select the 15 to 30 seconds and you'd get 30 second templates that you could use in your video. But let's go ahead and find one that we like. And simply by hovering over it, you get a preview of the video and the audio. And once you like that, go ahead and say use template. A key reason I was able to build my YouTube channel to where it is today is because of my love for learning. And I can guarantee you that if you dedicate yourself, really dedicate yourself to learning and grasping a high income skill like editing, growing a YouTube channel or storytelling, you can change your life in 2026. I speak from experience. On Skillshare, I took a class by Simone Ferretti where he taught me how to transform any room into a professional looking studio because I'll be building a new studio very soon. I learned how easy it is to make any space look like a pro studio, positioning myself away from the background, how lighting is the most crucial factor to beautiful footage, how to actually set up the lights, and I learned so much more from his class. Skillshare has classes taught by industry-leading professionals all around the world, from creative professionals to entrepreneurs. Skillshare is the best place to learn a new creative skill or pick up a new hobby, and it's where humans come to learn from actual real other humans. The first 500 people that use the link in my description or use the QR code on screen will get an entire month free of Skillshare. Can't wait to see you there. So now you have the entire template on your timeline and it's as easy as dragging and replacing. Let me show you a quick trick that you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and import all the footage that I shot into my CapCut timeline. And there's two different ways that you can embed your footage into your timeline. Simply by selecting on this 25 clips to be replaced, it's gonna open up our footage tab where we can select that first clip, click replace, and it gives us option to a folder on our computer. Or we can find the clip that we wanna replace that with and simply select that clip from our media bin and drag it onto that specific clip right there. You can now see that it's replaced that first clip that CapCut gave us with the clip that we've embedded. But there is a better way to do this in my opinion. If you know your footage and you love all the clips, go ahead and select all those clips 
starting with the first clip that you want to select. And then what I can do is drag that clip right into that first option. And you'll see that it's replaced all the clips in our entire template. This is literally how it can take 30 seconds to create a cool edit. Let's go ahead and see what we've made. You saw it took 10 seconds for me to drag footage and place it in. But the weakness with using this drag and drop method is you don't really get to manually tweak which clips you use. So for instance, there we have two of the exact same clips. But let's say we really like this edit, which I do, and you wanted to adjust the actual time frame of the clip that it used. All you need to do is hover over that clip, click that little pen icon and say trim clip. This is gonna allow you to then scrub through your timeline and select the exact portion that you wanted to choose. A portion that's more stable or once your camera is in motion, once you find that portion, you just select replace clip and it's gonna use that portion of that clip that you just selected. Another thing that's cool is if we select on that clip, you can change the scale and the position of that clip simply by selecting on it. Again, maybe we wanted to change this fourth shot, I would select on the fourth shot and we'd have option to change the scale and the position of that clip. So what's great is you have full customization ability of the titles. So by selecting on the template, it'll show you the text that's been included. So if I change vibes randomly to what I ate at Rocco's, Rocco's is the store. You can see there it's changed the actual text. Now, this is not 2024, so I'm gonna select 2024 and select delete and it's removed that entire text line from our template. What's great as well is if I click on the text on the player window, I get an option to change the size. That text was looking a little bit too small. So I've just increased the size and it's way more legible now. And lastly, you can still apply your adjustment layer or your filters to change how this looks. Personally, I think this is a little bit too dark. I like to make bright, bold videos that capture attention. So I'm gonna drag my adjustment layer onto my timeline and we're gonna increase the saturation. We're gonna increase my exposure by a bit and increase the contrast. And we've gone from that, which looks a little bit sad, to that where our colors are bright, bold, and beautiful, and they grab your attention. Now again, you may think, surely there's no way a template could go viral. Well, I actively prove that wrong by having videos reach millions of people on TikTok and Reels every single month for myself and for clients using simple template techniques. But there is a world where a template is not highly effective and you post it and it performs terribly. And there's a reason for this. There's a reason some of them go viral and some of them don't. It's where standing out becomes important. Over the last five years, my team of editors and I have developed a proven structure that you can apply to not only templates, but any video. This has a way higher chance of creating a viral video, even using templates. This isn't about choosing the right template or the right song. It's about thinking like a professional editor and applying editing structures and theory into your templates so that your videos have a better chance of success. If you want deep, rewarding CapCut lessons that turn you into a CapCut Pro, check out CapCut Lab. It's a course that I custom developed for my editors and for editors all over the world. It's the fastest proven way to turn you into a CapCut professional. But here are three crucial steps to take your templates to the next level and stand out from what everyone else is doing. Three steps closer to thinking like a pro editor. Number one, choose a template that has a natural buildup of music and then a drop. What this does is it causes intrigue in your viewer. They're intrigued for what's gonna happen when that beat drops, so therefore it acts like a hook. Technique number two to stand out is to choose a template that has some form of text or an intro title. And the reason this is, is because titles are fantastic at adding crucial context to your story. A lot of viewers also watch TikToks and Reels without sound on. So a title acts as a potential another reason for your viewer to watch your story and understand what's going on without sound. Now the last technique, the third technique to stand out is to add some sort of engagement tool to the end of your template. And this is something that a lot of these templates actually don't have built into them. So it's an easy way to stand out from the crowd. Now an engagement tool is something that causes conversation in your video. And the reason we wanna cause conversation is because as soon as somebody likes or comments on our video, whether it be a TikTok or a Reel, that video has a much higher chance of going viral because people are engaging with it. So what you can simply do is go to your text option, select default text, and add a title directly to the end of your video. For a video where we show what we eat, 
What about a question like, how much do you think this costed? Now, a simple question like this causes a few things. Either someone is gonna guess how much they think it costed in the comments, or it's gonna cause somebody to watch the video again because they actually wanna see all the things we ate so they could make almost a mental guess. Whether you get a comment, a like, or a rewatch of your video, all of those are fantastic engagements. And again, they're gonna help your video have a much higher chance of success. So use a simple engagement tool, like a title in the form of a question or a statement, that's gonna cause some engagement on your video. A bonus trick for those of you who have stayed this far, let's say you find a template and you love the text that's been included in the template, or maybe it's got a, some form of animation or motion graphic. There's an easy way that you can take this out of that template and reuse it in a ton of different edits. So what you're gonna do is find that template and you can see here, it's got some great text, the art of noticing. What I then do is I import a green screen into my project and I replace all of those clips with that green screen. This then gives us the template, but instead of having videos and photos behind the text, we've got a green screen. I can then go ahead and export that template. And then I can re-import that video that we created into our timeline. Simply by clicking on that video, going to remove background and then chroma key, I can select the color I wanna remove. And what this has done is we've created a transparent background. So now let's go and import and when I scrub through my timeline, we now have that text from another template directly on top of our new video. So again, a great way to take text animations or motion graphics out of a template and apply it directly into your project. I can't wait to see what you make. If you make a cool video and post it on YouTube, go ahead and tag me at Matt Louie and I'll check those out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.